Snake in the wild. What? He was at peace until he felt chaos striking up. A T-Rex was terribly chasing two young dinosaurs. Soon they entered a graveyard. And the two dinos hid inside a coffin while the T-Rex searched. He found none but saw a scarecrow. He tries to see the two dinos hidden under him. But just then when he looks around he notices the coffin close. Oh yeah! He tries to open it, but no matter what he fails. When he finally did, it's definitely not the two dinos, but a human skeleton. T-Rex is heavily fascinated. He picks up the skeleton and tries to eat while the two dinos are judging him. Meanwhile, Stegosaurus comes there and panics, what? seeing T-Rex oh, eating no. a skeleton. He hits T-Rex away, warning that fool not to eat a skeleton. Stegosaurus begins dragging him away while he nags like a baby. T-Rex kicks Stegosaurus away and warns him not to bother. But Stegosaurus is determined to let souls rest in peace. Instead of letting the weird dinosaur haunt the dead, Stegosaurus proceeds to smack his head to see if it would get T-Rex back to his senses. The two dinos were cheering for the Stegosaurus, but he instead began chasing them. What? Meanwhile, they ran and hid inside a scarecrow. Where could this kid escape so quick? Leave quickly! <laughs> Stegosaurus ran like a scaredy cat. While Parasaur and Terry Rex laughed at giant dinosaurs being big time shy babies who are good for nothing. Baby T Rex is drinking milk at peace. Meanwhile, Pteranodon has caught a glimpse of the little diamond sipping its milk in peace. Now the intention is to kidnap the little dino. So Pteranodon did what was expected. He caught the baby T-Rex by its teeth and oh fled no! away. The little dino constantly tried to relieve itself. Until the animal farm came and the little T-Rex fell from its grip. The Pteranodon stole the Dinu's milk and fled away. Oh no! The little T-Rex is on the verge of tears. And then sees the cow's milk collected in a tub. He drank what? the whole thing. And the cow was shocked. chasing the little cow until the baby cow tripped off a log of wood and fell.
The Pteranodon kids were sipping on the stolen milk. Oh, yeah! The mommy Pteranodon laughed. So the little calf felt an urge to check upon the babies. As soon as he got there, the mommy Pteranodon came and pushed the baby cow from the top. Baby T Rex got alert. The mommy Pteranodon comes to attack the cow, but the baby T Rex defends what? the cow. <laughs> Looks like Terry Rex developed a new hobby fishing. Seems like even a parasaur is accompanying him. They sat fishing at peace. On the other side, a dinosaur family is having a blast. It looks like a tribal party. Looks like T-Rex has got a major trap. Badasaur, come help me! The surprise breaks, and now the dinosaurs are shocked and terrified to see a dinosaur. It was oh, an no. ice monster. He threw an ice beam upon a parasaur. T-Rex helplessly ran to his family. Guys, escape! There's an ice monster! Just then, T-Rex was freeze. The spikes flew all over. The little dinos dumbly ran to attack, but obviously fell prey for the dinosaur. <gasps> now only the spider and venom T-Rex can save. Superhero T-Rexes are determined to kill the monster. Spider T-Rex finally threw his trap when the venomous track threw the venom. They begin bullying the ice monster until the ice falls and even the breath stops. The Dinos were quickly released from ice. And the peace summoned. There once lived an ancient crocodile. Or precisely, its head itself. It holds a power in its mouth through which it births crocodiles. The crocodiles come emerging out of a never ending loop. Finally, four crocodiles have emerged. Meanwhile, T-Rex, Stegosaurus and Raptor are passing on the ball. Which now has gone and fell upon the crocodile skull's open mouth. The crocodile
crocodile skull expressed his pain and all the crocodiles were triggered to attack whoever threw the ball meanwhile T-Rex comes walking to collect the ball back as soon as they got there all the crocodiles came and attacked them the dinos collapsed all the collapsed dinos were collected and kept and the raptor was given to the crocodile skull he ate the raptor skin and returned its skeleton similarly for the other two dinos The crocodile were resting along the crocodile skull and the other three dino skeleton woke up. We have been turned into skeletons. The dino skeletons begin biting the dinos hoping for a solution. T-Rex began jumping on them and torturing them. They knocked the crocodiles off. I think we'll have to end his existence. The crocodile skull mouth is open and the raptor throws in a grenade. The crocodile skull bursted off and the power is now free. It gave the skin and organs to the dinos. The dinos are finally normal. The so-called king of Jurassic World is taking a walk for a daily dose of chaos. He comes across Terry Rex and Triceratops when they were resting. He probably oh, yeah. thought of scaring them. He then ran and he screamed at them. Terry Rex is tired of it. And then he comes across a majestic guy. He went there and quickly ate it. What? The eye must have been reacting within him. He quickly turned into a body full of eyes. Looking like a zombie. The little dinos are having a bash when T-Rex interrupted. What?
They saw a parasaur and immediately attacked, turning him into a zombie too. quickly hid somewhere, while T-Rex and Parasaur searched. <coughs> they finally saw him on top of the den and tried getting him. Dinos back to normal. They then went back minding their own business like nothing happened. What? T Rex. An aggressive dinosaur that has defeated many crocodiles over his lifespan. T-Rex is walking to the lake again. And it is quite predictable that the crocodile might attack again. No creature is able to drink water properly due to crocodile attacks. Crocodile messed with the wrong one again. turned into a cat fight. Both are attacking each other in turns. This started to get silly until finally both were tired and gave up. T-Rex living by the lake. Dissociated from worldly pleasures. There lived a few dinos like the Stegosaurus. Raptor. The raptor is here to hydrate himself. On the other side. Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. They were peacefully living until chaos struck upon their planet. Huge chunks of meteorites fell upon their land. What? All the dinosaurs were running out of terror. The blue T-Rex realizes something is off and goes to see it. He sees that the meteorite fell and caused a fire to break out. calms the fire through his ice-beaming superpower. 
It seems like the blue T-Rex is born out of water energy. A raptor is peacefully drinking water when a meteorite falls upon it. He quickly ran from there. Ankylosaurus and Triceratops are seeing a meteorite which nearly hit them. The red T-Rex is here to rescue them with his supernatural powers. He must have been born out of air or a fierce element. meteors were approaching towards the land. Certainly an earth element. Just like that, a few meteors fell and the blue T-Rex pulled the fire off. These supernatural dinos continued cleaning up the mess. But they instantly realized that they needed to unite to completely stop the chaos. Their friendship shares sparks and all of them are ready to face the situation and protect the land and dinos from further damage. Sending the meteorites into the water. These supernatural beings are often termed as superheroes. There goes the mother dinosaur and her baby. The baby is fed well by her. Both of them have taken a good walk home. There is also a T-Rex who's cunning. Absolutely greedy and mercilessly. He sees the mother and son and decides to approach them. This looks yummy. Give me that meat and I'll spare you both. No, we won't. Now you can leave our place. An intense fight has begun. Oh yeah. Does she know she could only rest in peace forever? Oh no! The baby T Rex saw his mom dying in front of him. Nothing could be more painful. Black T Rex went to eat the meat while the baby T Rex stood there crying for his mom. This will not be the end, and there will be revenge. <laughs> Baby T-Rex followed the black T-Rex and hid behind a rock and observed him coming. The baby T-Rex pushed the rock down the slope and it hit the black tracks. He did not die, but instead saw the baby tracks and began chasing him. The baby T-Rex ran over a rope. And soon a log of wood came and pushed Black Trax into a cage and the cage closed. Oh, finally! Now you don't need to eat meat because you will be cooked or worse. Baby T-Rex might have taken his revenge. 
but the grief of his mother's death will still haunt him. A balm of venomous spirit has entered the dense jungle of Jurassic World. T-Rex is walking to the pond to drink some water. He now peacefully walked over to rest under the shade. The venomous spirit slowly slid down the slope and reached for T-Rex. T-Rex is now possessed. The venomous T-Rex then walked into the jungle to find prey. Soon he came across a few dinos hanging out in the forest and decided to gulp them off. He began chasing Parasaur since he was the only one running alone. The venomous T-Rex began searching for him but instead found a baby T-Rex. but as soon as he reached out, Baby T-Rex began playing with his instrument and the sound disturbed the venomous spirit. So this turned out to be his weakness. We need to end the venom. The Dinus were all prepared to attack the venomous T-Rex. They held the rope and as he got closer, he fell off the rope and saw a parasaur. Before he could reach out parasaur, bars fell on all sides and raptor went hitting all the bars while the venomous T-Rex couldn't help. The dinos helped T-Rex out and kept banging the bars while Spirit was trapped. Soon a grenade was thrown and the bars were closed. Another day where Terry Rex sets out to be the main character of Disney. He's never clumsy whenever he assumes himself that way. Like every other princess he loves chasing wow. butterflies until it leads him into trouble. He tripped over a branch and spotted a huge meat in the midst of bushes. He greedily ran and pleasantly ate the meat until the cages emerged. What? Terry was caught in a trap and there might be no way he can escape. Seems like it was sent by a gang man. Oh, yeah. He joyfully comes to greet Terry Rex. I'm gone for a while, silly. Soon a helicopter had come to collect Terry and the man. The helicopter left, taking him to the other side of the world while T-Rex caught this happening. Oh no! He couldn't leave Terry in such a distressed state. The man spotted a T-Rex chasing, and now he's panicked. T-Rex 
not professionally managed until all the bullets had exhausted. T-Rex followed the helicopter and quickly climbed the entire peak. After taking a few jumps, he caught Terry's cage. After a long scrubble track, successfully relieved the cage from clutches, and both of them fell. Little Terry is happy since T-Rex saved many days for him. T-Rex is glad about it and from now on they will live happily ever after.